I want to welcome you to the biggest celebration ever of our American values. And I want to thank all of you for taking the time to come here this afternoon. Because it's really important that you're here. Because your very presence is the very essence of American participation in our democracy. In the past few months, more and more Americans have joined a national conversation about violent crime and about public safety. The role of government in our lives and the direction of our nation. Conversation has often become heated, sometimes confrontational. Emotions run high because the stakes are high and because people care deeply about America. So they gather to exercise their right to voice their concerns. It's the same historic right of meeting and speaking up that was exercised more than 200 years ago by the patriots who forged our great nation. But most of the national media has either forgotten or chosen to ignore, or maybe they just don't care about that simple truth of American democracy. And God forbid that anyone says anything the immediate elitists don't want to hear. Those in the media, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, they think they know better than we do. They think they're smarter than we are. During the past few months, the media has engaged in a vicious effort to attack the Second Amendment and demonize lawful American gun owners. You know what I'm talking about. The media and the political elites back in Washington, they have been ranting and raving, trying to blame and shame peaceful, law-abiding American gun owners for senseless violence. And yet, it's the NRA that has stepped forward with meaningful solutions that would actually help make people safer. In for yeah. I hear this all over the country from Americans. Enforce the federal gun laws on the books right now against drug dealers with guns, gangs with guns, and violent felons with guns. <laughs> Fix our broken mental health system. Everyone knows it's broken. And protect America's schools as much as we protect our jewelry stores and our sports stadiums. All over this country, everywhere I go, people agree. They want bad guys taken off the streets, and they want our children protected in their schools. And they don't want their freedom taken away. <laughs> NRA members and people like you all over this country have been standing up for freedom and standing up to the media for decades. And for decades, the media and the political elites have lied about us, demonized us, and attempted to marginalize our Second Amendment freedom. They've called gun owners just about every rotten, lousy, nasty, evil name in the book in a judgmental tone that, quite honestly, most Americans resent, that we've all all of you and people like you all over this country have stood up to that nonsense. NRA members have stared those anti-gun elitists straight in the eye, and we've stared them down. We know how they play the game. President Obama or Michael Bloomberg or some other official trots out on national television to scold and shame us, suggesting that there's something wrong with law-abiding people who want to own firearms. And then what happens? All the Piers Morgans, Lawrence O'Donnells, and Rachel Maddows, they pound the message over and over again. We know that every word spoken today and throughout this weekend is going to be scrutinized by our opponents. But let me make this perfectly clear. We will never back away from our resolve to defend our rights and the rights of all law-abiding American gun owners.
And we will never fear an absolute dedication of a Second Amendment that must be preserved as an unfettered, natural American right, fully accessible to every law-abiding American citizen. And you know what? If the media doesn't like it, and we know they won't, we know where they can go. Now, they're, they're going to keep demonizing gun owners. They're going to keep calling us names. And they'll keep lying about who we are. So let's show them the truth. You represent millions of Americans all over this country, many of whom have been walking up to me and they've said, been saying this, you're saying what will make the country safer. We're with you. Don't let them get our freedom. After traveling the country the last four months, I am convinced that most Americans see through all the media lies, see through all the outrageous distortions, and frankly, they're sick of it. So I, so I need your help today. Let's give them a clear view right now in this room of who we really are. When I describe you, will you please stand up and remain standing? Do we have any police officers here today? If you're currently serving in law enforcement or have previously served, will you please stand? You protect us, our streets and our communities. And we say thank you for that. And please remain standing. How many nurses or doctors are out there in the audience today? Please stand if you're a nurse, a doctor, a paramedic, a hospital administrator. How about a pharmacist? Anyone who works in health care, please stand and remain standing. Thank you for taking care of us. And please remain standing. Do we have any teachers in the audience today? Please stand and remain standing. Anyone who works in education, please stand and join those already standing. Thanks for all you do for our children every single day. If you're a student, stand and join right now. Education's important, and we're proud of every single one of you. Do we have any ranchers or farmers out there? Stand up now. You're the backbone of America. If you work in manufacturing, construction, stand up right now and be recognized for what you do. I know I'm in Texas here, so anybody in the oil, natural gas, or other energy-related industry, how about standing up? Thank you for what you do. If you work in a trade, maybe a plumber, electrician, roofer, contractor, truck driver, or other trade, please stand. You keep America working and running, and we thank you for that. How about stay-at-home moms? You do so much for our children and our families. Please stand and let us say thank you to you right now. If you own your own business, join those standing right now. Anyone work in retail, maybe a local grocery, stand up. Any firefighters out there, stand up right now and thank you for running into the fire on our behalf. And I know we have many men and women in our armed forces. If you're in the military or a veteran, join those standing right now. You've made the great sacrifice of defending freedom abroad and here at home, and we are so grateful for your service. Do you attend your local church, donate to charity, volunteer for Little League or soccer, love your community, pay your taxes, respect your local authorities and obey the law, stand up now and be recognized. <laughs> oh.
Are you proud of what your country stands for? Are you proud of your freedom? Stand up and be counted. While you're all standing right now, I want all the reporters and I want all the national media to look around at the American people standing right now in this room. And I want you to see us for who we really are and see if you can tell it straight. Let me make it crystal clear. We are the law-abiding Americans who believe that liberty is a blessing, not bestowed by government, but by our Creator, that must that must be preserved for future generations of Americans. The media and the political elites can lie about us and demonize us all they want, but that won't stop us because we who are standing up today in this room and Americans just like us all over this country are standing for who we really are. We are Americans, we are proud of it, and we are going to defend our freedom, we promise you. Thank you very much. God bless you and defend freedom every single day. It's an honor to be with you today. Thank you.